Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Yo On The Go. Today we'll be talking about Alpha, Beta, and Omega. Now let me tell you a story about a chimpanzee that I saw, a chimpanzee tribe while I was at the zoo actually a few years back. Uh, there was a beta male that came from another tribe and he challenged the alpha male, the alpha chimpanzee of the group. And when I saw him hit his punches into that chest, that, that alpha male just brushed it off. He then proceeded to jump in the air and just like the Matrix, drop kick that guy in the face. Okay, so that poor beta chimpanzee ran to his surrogate mother and the alpha, uh, alpha male went onto a rock, put his hands behind his head and relaxed saying, I am that alpha. Now in society we have, right, we see that there are alphas and there are betas. That tells me that there's a design here. There is uh, a recurrent design, uh, a reciprocal uh, reason why we should have alpha and beta. It's actually mutually beneficial for everyone because our strength comes in numbers and being able to move with a single purpose. For that purpose to be singular, we need a leader to guide everybody. And we also need followers to enable that. That's our strength as a society. But we know that as humans, we have a much more complex society. You know, it's not just 10 or 20 or 30 uh, people. It's not even 150. It's thousands of people moving in synchrony. And when you get into that point, you start to realize we are not only just alphas, but we are also betas at the same time. We need to have both alpha and beta characteristics. So I challenge you to think, how can you be a leader today? And also, how can you be a servant today? And combine that, how can you be a servant leader? And that's where I go from the concept of alpha, beta, to omega. So I hope this was helpful for you. Until next time, bye.